Hi there. In this video, I'm going to explain how to assemble and use your Pump and Pal silicone flanges. So I have a Spectra S1 pump, so I ordered the kit that comes with the adapters and the flanges. I am using the blue extra small flange, and I have my Spectra adapter with a duckbill valve. It does not come with a duckbill, so make sure you put one on there before trying to pump. And then it also comes with this little neck piece that goes between your flange and your adapter. So. First, I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to apply it to the bottom of here. Sometimes you can use a little water to help get that on there nice and sealed, but you just go ahead and put it on and give it a little twist to get a nice good seal. And then you're going to go ahead and take your Spectra adapter piece and you're going to go ahead and insert that neck right inside of there. So give it a nice little push so that everything is nice and sealed up nothing's going to come apart. And then you're going to go ahead and take your Spectra wide mouth bottle and go ahead and just stick it on there like you normally would. So when you turn on your pump, you want to use the expression mode, not the massage mode on 70. And you want to use the expression mode on the lowest cycle setting of 38. I use mine on vacuum six when I um, attach my flanges, but um, it's really about what's comfortable for you too. But the low expression setting is important because then the suction portion is a longer draw, so it gives you a better opportunity to actually get a good seal. So that's what I do. The first time you do this, you're gonna wanna do it with it on single pump mode, so you're only trying to attach one breast. Um, once you get better at it, you can go ahead and do both breasts at the same time. Um, but <clears throat> it does take a little bit of trial and error the first time or two. And if you have both tubes attached, you don't get as good suction from the one tube to get yourself hooked up, if that makes sense. So I go ahead and get started with it just on the single side. So, like I said, I have my blue extra small flange here, and then I have my backflow protector attached to my tubing and my spectra right here. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this just again like I would when I normally would pump with my regular flange. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn my pump on again on 38 cycles and my vacuum I have on 6. So then you want to go ahead and um, have your breasts ready. You don't want to use lubricant with these. Um, because the silicone is designed to grip the skin better and the lubricant defeats that purpose. So what you want to do is go ahead and take your two hands like this and you're going to want to flip this flange backwards to make an O shape like that. So I hold it like this with my two fingers and that kind of keeps it flipped back. So you want to watch your backflow protector when the pump actually suctions it's going to pull the backflow towards the back. So that's important to pay attention to when you're doing this. So you'll want to hold your breast and you want your nipple to be going right towards the middle of that circle there. So you want to get it nice and close so you're ready to attach it. And then you want to watch that backflow protector. So when that backflow protector suctions out is when you want to go ahead and apply your nipple into the tunnel as far as you can. So I'm going to watch it, it's going to release and then suction. So we'll just keep an eye on that. It's released. So now as it suctions, I'm going to deploy my nipple and then gently go ahead and pull those sides back against the breast without snapping it. And you'll be able to see once that's going that my nipple is nice and far in here. My areola is touching here, which does not cause any discomfort, and it's suctioning, and there is a little bit of motion, but it's not rubbing constantly, and that's really important for, like me, I have a little bit more of an elastic nipple, so in a regular flange, it pulls and rubs and is very uncomfortable. I found immediately with my first use that the Pump and Pal was way more comfortable, but it did take a couple tries to get used to getting it on correctly the first time. So if you don't get it right away, don't give up and be discouraged. It does come with a little bit of practice sometimes. So that's how you're gonna go ahead and get it on. If you don't get it on right the first time, don't try to just 
pull it off. That obviously is not going to feel good. So you can take your finger and stick it in here, break the suction, and then remove your nipple and breast from the flange. And that's all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward. Just takes a couple of tries to get it down right. But once you get it, pumping is so much more comfortable and it'll be a lot easier over time once you get into a routine with it. Thanks.